Hey, I'm Mad Mark, and this is Mad Mark. I'm Mad Mark. I'm sorry for the windy condition, but that's the way it is sometimes here in the Sahara. We're here to make a documentary of the lost sheep. A documentary of the lost sheep? What he said, but even better. This is the documentary of the lost sheep that wasn't found. The lost sheep that wasn't found. And he is making the thing completely stupid, but crikey. There's a sheep over there. I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful. I, I put my finger on it, I move it, put my finger on it, move it, put my finger on it, move it. I'm pretty sure that you can see it now. And right, we're going to move in closer on this sheep. I'm moving around the other way. Caleb, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm taking it easy. Slow down, slow down. I'm slow down. Wait for me to come around, Caleb. Right. Caleb Dash is telling me to shut it. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. As you can see, here's the lost sheep. And there's his school of other sheep. That's the school of other sheep up there. You didn't hear me because I know the windy condition of the Sahara can be quite annoying on the microphones of digital cameras, which I am using currently at this time. Anyway. The sheep's making a move. The, sh the sheep's making a move. Caleb. I'm not going to go there. Caleb's chickening out to get the sheep. It looks like I am forced to climb over this stuff because Caleb is too scared to go and get the sheep. And it's only a tiny sexy cheetah. And he is just too scared. And he's scared of the coloration of those cows just because they're cows. That is one definite lost sheep. That sheep is so lost, it's hanging out with the cows at the moment in time, in case you can't see this. There's the sheep right there. I put my finger on it, remove it. Put my finger on it, remove it. Put my finger on it, remove it. I'm pretty sure you can see the sheep now. Can he see the sheep? I think so. All right, we're moving in on the sheep. We're moving in. I'm going to the left. Caleb's going to the left, as you can see, and the sheep is making his move. Just gotta be careful of these cows with their colors. I don't like cows with colors. I don't like that one with big mm, horns. Yes, that's it. Focus on the sheep. I'm focusing on the sheep. Focus on the sheep. Caleb, would you move in on it? I'm moving in on it. Yeah. It's okay, Sheila. We can see the beautiful coloration. It's got white and more white on it. Its nose is pink. Actually. Its nose is pink. The sheep's confused, it doesn't know where to go. Um, it, and it's obviously uh, uh, it's fooling my part in a mad mark. I'm moving in closely onto the sheep. And it's gonna... Sheep, sheep. Put your hands on it. Put your hands on it. Put your hands on it. I'm trying to put my hands... You're letting it go. You're letting it go. You're letting it go, Caleb. The sheep's getting away. He's into the fence. Yes, I put this bit up for a reason. And now we've got the sheep, and you can see his beautiful eyes. Hello. Just let me flick this little switch, and now I can take a close-up of these beautiful, hold still, eyes. Look at these beautiful eyes. Hi. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Just 100% beautiful eyes. There's his nose. He uses the nose to breathe with. The nose is the sheep's breathing apparatus. And as... It's a breathing apparatus. <clears throat> Time for a commercial break. These are two extraordinary men. They call themselves the Sheep Hunters. The one on the right's name is Mad Mark, and the other on the left is Mad Mark. If you've seen these men or have any information on them, please call this number, 1-800-SAVE-THE-SHEEP. All the information will be greatly appreciated. This is for the betterment of the little tiny sheep. Here we have some rare footage of Mad Mark and Mad Mark. What they are doing to these sheep is terrible and cruel. This baby sheep will grow up to be very abnormal because of what these two men have done. Please give us this small fee every two weeks of twenty dollars. This will really help and aid the little sheep's cause. The number again is 1-800-SAVE-THE-SHEEP. There's, There's a, a new, new movie, movie coming, coming out, out called, called. 
Band of Warriors. It has two, two awesome, awesome characters, characters in it. it. The, the first, first one, one is Aragorn, and the other one is Legolas. Legolas. This, this is a very exciting, exciting film, film for young teenagers, teenagers around the age of five. five. And I'm, and I'm sure, sure most, most of you parents, parents too will enjoy this movie, movie as, much as much as I have enjoyed sitting on the toilet. toilet. This movie this is, is an epic, epic tale of two young lovers, lovers and their and destiny, destiny meets when they, when they have to they travel, travel around the world and travel through, through rivers and water and, water and jump, jump over small, small ponds and other crazy things, things that they have to do. This, this movie is awesome and terrific thrilling. Most of the people in America give it two thumbs. Sorry, the en this is the end of this episode of Mad Mark and Mad, Mad Mark. We made you wait the whole commercial break just to tell you goodbye. Poof. <laughs>